navigate to Floyd Land Park. Go ahead and engage FSD. Oh, we got a car coming. We're kind of just parked right on the side of the road here. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and goose it just for a second. All right, we're off. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel, everybody. We're on software version 13.2.4, waiting for 13.2.6. Quite a few rollouts going around. Now, I have seen it do this navigation where it kind of reroutes around here because I want to say because this area, there's a school, so something must be pre-programmed in the maps. We got 4.4 miles, nine minutes on route, heading to Floyd Land Park. See if we can get there with zero disengagement today. Another beautiful day in Las Vegas, 64 degrees. Now, I don't even think this is an exit. So it looks like there is a gate, but it must be for fire or rescue, I'm guessing. Let's see what happens. Are we going to have to intervene? Will she be able to reroute? Let's not go straight onto there. <laughs> oh my goodness, can you believe this? All right, we're going to have to go ahead. All right, we're going up. We're going for the gate. We're disengaging. For science. First disengagement. Yep. <clears throat> Definitely not robo taxi level yet. Let's go ahead and um, see if we can re engage here. Check our route. See if it reroutes us. All right, still okay. It looks like it did reroute us. Let's go into the follow mode. Or this is bird's eye. This will be follow. Go ahead and make it go north, so we're going to be turning left here. <laughs> Clear on all sides. And that's why we test it, you know? One day we'll get in and it won't be, we won't have to intervene, we won't have to disengage. birds chasing each other such a beautiful day it is beautiful yes i love it what 64 degrees it's nice oh he has a mural on the back of that truck it says apply slight turning force to the steering wheel i wasn't paying attention let's go ahead and give it a little force now it looks like we are back on route we're clear to the right clear to the left Now we did have one car coming kind of, I want to say this version is trying to be more confident. It needs to be, have a quicker confidence though, because it was confident pulling out there, but I, I think we could have pulled out earlier. We did have a car coming. Yes, the hesitation with getting out in traffic sometimes, I feel like it needs to be more assertive. Yeah, definitely. It has to react quick and then be confident and not hesitate. All right, let's touch the wheel here. We get in the blue flashing lights. We do have it in standard mode, autopilot settings, 40% offset. So I went ahead and went with the recommended 40%. What I feel happens is if you have the offset low, it definitely changes the behavior and the speed. So we're, I feel like the 40% does give us a quicker acceleration off the line, although we're still testing it. We have 302 miles in the battery, 94%. The nag is definitely overly cautious on this update. I want to say on Testify right now, there's about 200 waiting for Wi-Fi for the 13.2.6 version. So we had 13.2.2, we missed the dot three, we got the dot four, we missed the dot five. So hopefully we get this next version any moment. Doing 35 and a 35 on standard mode. Let's see if we have any other routes here. Almost no wind out today. I know, it's super nice. I love it. 
a little bit of snow caps on the mountains. Yeah, I was just thinking about the wind because when it's a lighter day, the cyber truck is even quieter. Got the Las Vegas farm to the right, Animal Sanctuary, Farmer's Market. Now let's see if we get into the right lane. Quite often, the Model 3 will stay straight and the Cybertruck will get right, although the other day, well, I was gonna say the other day it kept us straight. <laughs> I'm not sure what behavior that is. If it's a standard mode behavior, just uh, get you in the inside lane. I felt like the other day on Cybertruck, we were on standard, we went straight through it. One out of 20 times, usually it does yes. do that merge. Got our right turn coming up, right next door to the neighborhood Chipotle. I'm hoping on that 13.2.6, it stays further away from the curbs. That's really all the disengagement is just getting too close to the curbs. The lane selection, not really a disengagement situation, but it could be in certain situations. And then really just the routing. If we can nail the routing, lane selection, staying away from those curbs, I don't think we'll need to disengage. I agree with you. Yeah. The older Model 3s and Model Ys with the AI3, the Hardware 3 cars, they're saying that the 12.3.6 version that they're getting right now is the best version that they've used as well. So, super exciting time to be able to test out this full self-driving. You know, one day people will look back and laugh watching these videos. Oh, we kind of got a hesitation there, and we're going. So, it looked like we wanted to give this car the right away, or I want to say I've seen that behavior too. It's kind of an error. Go ahead and lower the speed limit here. We're doing that's where the 40% offset gets you into trouble because the car will just generally drive about the natural flow of speed for the roads, although it still needs some work. And people tend to drive fast back here in general. 9th Island Court, a little gated cul de sac. It's pretty sweet. This is, I believe, the Thule Springs area here. Let's see what it shows on the map. So it's kind of like the beginning to Floyd Lamb here, Thule Springs. Got the pedestrian crosswalk blinking, but no pedestrians around. All right, we do have the speed limit bumping up here to 35. Let's see, it changed already. And we're speeding up. Sanctuary. Wow, they're busy over there. The farm was too. The farm, yeah. It feels like it's a busy day today. It's so nice out. Yeah, I... everyone's getting out of the house. Yes. Everyone was out eating breakfast earlier. Yep. It's a beautiful Sunday. Yep. <laughs> right, we got a right turn coming up. We do need to merge over. Looks like we're taking this slowly. So that's what I've been seeing on its behavior. It tends to merge late on these this update. I like the earlier merge better. We'll have to see if that changes in the future. All right, we're gonna creep for visibility. We're all clear. Got the green light too. Here's everybody walking. Yeah, in shorts, t-shirts, it's beautiful out. Yeah, we must be just cruising right with the wind. It's so quiet. Got our right turn coming up. Floyd Lamb Park at Tule Springs.
I don't know, overall today we didn't really have too much curbs to test out, but I tell you what, the truck definitely still gets a little close to them. I want to say on our normal drives when we're just driving around, I usually, we usually disengage around some of these that are notorious for getting close. The Model 3 definitely is, has a much better behavior getting around curbs. It is much more smaller and nimble, obviously. Point four of a mile, one minute, and that's gonna wrap it up, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Definitely leave your feedback below. We love all the comments, the engagement. Hit that like button if you liked the video, and we will see you on the next one.